we got here. Got something. Got one. Oop. All right, guys, welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Chris, and I got Lily with me today. Uh, she's a, you know, it's a little chilly today. Uh, and Kim and uh, Lacey are at home. But uh, we're, I think we got a couple dozen sand fleas and a couple dozen shrimp. So we are probably just gonna head to the jetty. Um, it's gonna be way too windy and rough offshore. So we'll probably hit there and then just kind of work our way back in the docks and the intercoastal here for a little while and see what kind of mess we can get into. See if it's some sheep's head are still biting, see if we can't find some, some drum or something. Uh, so stay tuned and check it out. All right guys, we are out here at the jetty and it doesn't look too bad out there right now. Um, but it's supposed to pick up, um, it's about 25 mile an hour gust later. Um, some stuff showing up on the fish finders, our bottom machine here. And uh, so I'm gonna just throw down some shrimp and see if we can't get into some mess here. But I think in about two or three hours, it's supposed to get pretty gusty. So we'll try to enjoy the nice weather out here while we can. What do we got here? Got something. What do we got? Oh, man. Oh, big old sheep's head. Holy crap, that's a good size one, too. I just had a free line, but we'll just a little bit of pinch weight. Got this guy out here. He is, uh... He's just a smidget over 17 inches. Man, he's going to the box. That's a pretty looking fish. Got one in the box. Let's see whatever what other kind of mischief we can get into. I started off with shrimp, but if uh, there's some good sized sheep's head down here, I'll try to take advantage of it. Going down with a half ounce bottom sweeper. Do I got something? I got another fish here. What do I got here? We got a little sheep's head. Oh man, he swallowed that thing. Ah, that stinks. I'll let him have that one. It'll be all right. It'll rust out in a little while. It'll grow up. Bye, buddy. Sun's coming up. It's starting to warm up. So uh, hopefully we'll have a nice day. Well, guys, uh, the current's kind of slowed down, and uh, kind of so is the bite. Uh, usually, when during slack tide, it seems like the bite kind of usually turns off. Um, it's not always, but. Uh, usually and most of the time i just kind of wait it out and then uh, as soon as that tide starts picking back up it'll be going in time incoming and uh we'll probably fish here just a little bit longer and then probably head in shore what do i got here little guy little mangrove yeah man little mangrove yeah little freaking mangrove there you go. I'm just getting a little mangroves out here, so I think we're gonna uh, take it up in shore and uh, try to wrangle us up some sheep's head. So we're gonna head in a little bit, find some docks, and maybe, you know, sheep's head, or we're gonna be around wherever, like, you know, crustaceans are growing. So that's where we're gonna fish for them, because that's where we're gonna find them. What do we got here? Little guy, little mangrove. Man, we just cannot get away from these guys today. They are just tearing me up. Just somebody nibbling. Something got me. Well, I'll throw that back out there. Uh oh, over, a bit over here. What do we got? Oh, this one's decent. What do we got here? This one's decent. Oh, oh, nice sheep's head. Let's get him in the boat. Nice sheep's head. Yeah, he is a... This one's 14 and a half, so he's going in the box. Join his friend. Lily, where are you going? Am I hooked back up over here too? Yep. 
Got too many lines in the water. But another little mangrove though. These guys are killing me today. Grow up to be a kama sandwich. Yeah, I got one here. Little guy. Another little mangrove. Here. Another little guy. Yeah. Man. These little mangroves are burning through my bait. Good grief. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Another little mangrove. Another. Eh. Yep. He's got something here. Yep. Oh, he's inside something. Oh, I got him out. Got him out. And another little mangrove. I think one more of these guys will move. Another little guy. Okay. That was it. We said one more. We're just gonna we're just gonna move down a little bit. Oh, got something nice here. What do we got? Nope, don't go around the pylon. Come on, get. Oh. Oh man, right when I was I was pulling this guy up to to leave. And what do we got? Is that a... What do we got? Oh, a black drum. Kim's going to be happy about this. As long as I can land him. Oh man, Kim's been wanting a black drum. Ooh. Just under 22. Um, I believe these are 14 to 24. We are going to look up the regulations because it's been a hot second. You know, sometimes these things change. Always check your regulations. Drum. Black drum, first one to come up. And it is minimum 14, max uh, 24, five uh, bag limit. And uh, you can allow to keep one over 24. Always, uh, you know, if you're not real familiar with your, your uh, regulations, always keep your uh, fish rules app handy. Cause I know a lot of people ask me like, you know, about sizes and slots and stuff. This is the easiest way to keep track of it. Especially if uh, like you get mixed up with numbers a lot, <laughs> you know, there's so many you have to remember. But this guy is a, uh, 22 black drum so or just oh, just under 22 so he's going home so on that note we're gonna stay put just a little bit longer got something what do we got little guy another little mangrove another little guy over here it's better now these are sheep's head but and another little mangrove all right since i got both these undone i think uh pulled up we're gonna do uh, we're gonna make a move we'll probably make one or two more stops and then we'll call it a day we already got two nice sized sheep's head and a good black drum which kim's been wanting for a while so uh too bad she wasn't here to catch it <laughs> uh anyway so we're gonna drop a few more so stick around and uh, let's see if we can get it to you hooked up what do we got here what do we got what do we got what do we got uh, and it's a jack oh man although if it was a little bigger i'd probably keep him for uh shark bait because i haven't been shark baiting i um, shark fishing in a hot second so but he's a little guy we'll let him go let me get this out of your way <laughs> If you guys are enjoying this ultra shark system channel um you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh we have videos coming out every week uh join our adventures we'd love to have you um if you have any have any questions or anything leave them below and a thumbs up are always greatly appreciated so thank you so very much got a, got one got a sheepy got a sheepy 
I am gonna net this one. I don't wanna lose them. This is a nice one. All right. There we go. Another sheeper. Yeah, he'd probably go home. It's probably about 14 inches, if I had to guess. Almost 15, like 14 three quarters. So that guy's gonna join the box. Oh, got another little little sheep's head right here. Oh crap. He's a little guy though, he's going back, definitely. Man, the, the sheep's head bite just picked up all of a sudden. Little guy going back. Dropping again. Ah, got stuck. Oh, came undone. Nope, they never got a sheep's head that time. Got one. Got one. Nope. Oh, I got him good. Oh. Put him in there. Yeah. He, he may keep. We'll have to make a judgment call on this one. He's definitely legal, but I don't know. You guys watch our channel. We usually try to keep him a little bigger than legal. <sighs> Oh yeah, he's 14 and a half, so he's definitely going to the box. And we got one. Not too bad for a quick little out outing this morning. Man, we're getting close to that wall though. There we go. There we go. Hooked up over here, chatting with my friends. Man, ah, I wasn't going to keep him anyway. All right, see you guys later. I can't believe it this morning. I just now noticed it, but I missed this eye this morning. <laughs> it was dark. I already have a hard enough time seeing, but all better. Get back on it. Got another one. Got another one. I think I got him good. Sling him in. Uh, he's kind of little. We'll let him go back. He's probably only like about. He's 12 and a half. We'll let him go back. Hey, just so you know, everybody that owns a dock on the water is not a Karen. This guy was here, you know, I'm fishing by his dock. You know, granted the water's not his and he understands that, but he comes out and he starts mowing his lawn and he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Have a good day. You know, everybody just be pleasant to one another. Uh, we'll all get along. But of course, there's always gonna be those people out there that, you know, because they bought property next to a body of water, they think the whole thing is theirs. Oh, got another one. Got another one. Another little guy. Another little guy. Just gonna try to move the trolling motor over just a smidget. Because I'm almost touching this wall. See. There we go. Uh, thought I had one. He got half my. He almost got got my sand flea.
Oh, got another one. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. No, let's, I'll flip him in. Yeah, another good one. He's definitely going in the box. We are going to take this off. It's crazy that some of these spots just pay off some days and some days they're just like nothing. 16 inch sheep's head going in the box. Oh, I think that's five. Is that five? All right guys, well we had a little shrimp versus sand fleas action going on. And it looks like the sand fleas won overall, but the, the shrimp had a good start. Uh, you know, we got a nice black drum and uh, one the biggest sheep's head, but we got four more sheep's head on the sand fleas, uh, bottom sweeper jig. So anyway, we had a good time. Uh, got real windy out here. Poor Lily didn't get to run on our island because they got high tide and they're all underwater. So, uh, but she always enjoys coming out here. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, button's right down there. Thumbs up are greatly appreciated. And until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.